Hello everybody, this is Luke and I'm going to give you some heyday tips. Uh, these will be useful if you are just starting out, um, but probably less useful if you are just starting out. A little bit more useful if you've been playing for a little while. Uh, these are things that I've found over the period of, well, 48 levels, almost 49 now. Um, so, it's just a few things, some tips on making money, some tips on saving time with your playing. Um, well, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. The first one has to do with making money. Now, I went ahead and did some analysis on the costs and the benefits of farming uh, like plants, like for example these here, the blackberries, um, and I found that overall apples have by far the greatest profit ratio. Um, now they're closely followed by things like uh, raspberries. Raspberries have a very, a very high amount of money uh, profit coming from them because, well, let's have a look. I mean, they cost two hundred and twenty gold, and they yield fourteen raspberries per, per bush. Uh, you can just take my word on that. It's uh, it's two, then three, then four, then four. Um, now apples took cost one sixty, and there's quite a disparity in how much you can sell them for. I mean, raspberries sell for quite a bit more. Um, and another factor is raspberries, they actually take not as much time as apples take. I believe apples take around one day and raspberries only take 18 hours to uh, fully flourish into their fr into their bare fruit. Uh, so you'd think that raspberries would be great, and um, I did at first, but then I thought, no, maybe I should take into account land space. Um, and seeing as you can put two apple trees where you can put one raspberry bush, you really get twice the value out of apple trees. Because here, I mean, I, I kind of negate it because I have, you can see here I have one apple tree where on kind of two spaces, but that's just aesthetics, and I probably would have done that as well with the raspberry bushes. So, I mean, I guess the raspberry bushes would have been this way. But, I mean, you can see there I have many, many more apple trees, so I'm getting twice the amount. Um, and overall, apples actually turn out to be much more profitable uh, because they don't take very long. They don't cost much. Uh, and that's basically it. I mean, you can do the numbers yourself if you like. Uh, I can upload them. I can upload a picture in the, in the description. I guess I will do that. Um, but on to the next step. The next step is saving time. Uh, this is probably something a lot of you guys will know. Um, it's basically just that if you want to build something, you don't have to swipe it all the way down to this little uh, box here. That's something my girlfriend does and it annoys me to no end because it's really very unnecessary. Uh, you can just swipe it to the little machine until it highlights. You can see it's this tiniest movement to there instead of all the way down here. You can just go like bam, you know, they're, they're all in there. Uh, and it's basically it. It's better. It's obviously better with the bigger ones that come all the way up rather than the smaller ones. There's still quite a bit of a, a bit of a way to drag it, but whatever. Um, the, ne the next tip uh, is really. I actually have a few tips about the newspaper. Uh, so the first one I'll go on about is finding things in the newspaper. So basically, what I do is. When I'm searching for items, I obviously have a priority list. Now let's just say I'm searching for bolts to, to upgrade my barn. Well, what a lot of people do is they'll open the newspaper and they will swipe through and they will take the time just looking through, checking if there are any bolts and there are no bolts. But what I do, well after I figured out that people in this game are getting pretty quick, you know, they're very fast. I realized that I need to be the fastest, otherwise I wouldn't get the bolts or I wouldn't get anything that I wanted. So I devised a scheme. Basically what I do is I flick through the newspaper really, really quickly on a first run. So, you know, when you open it, you can tell when it's a new paper, when it's refreshed, because when you open it, a little bit of white it goes white before it loads the items, um, but you see here it's an old newspaper, it loads straight away. Um, but 
what I do is, okay, so I open it and then I very, very quickly just flip through and I just, you know, use, I don't look at the items individually, I just kind of look at the center of the paper and I just have, you know, I just check if I can see anything that resembles a bolt. Um, and then, you know, if I can't, uh, then I'll go back through slowly and I'll check my second priorities and if there's nothing there, I'll go through the people that help, uh, need help. Um, but then that kind of goes on to my second tip, which has to do with searching for items again in the newspaper. Uh, so basically it's just, if you are looking for a barn item, anything that's stored in the barn, so you know, for example, the expansion items, really basically anything except for the produce, then you're better off, or at least this is what I've found, you're better off to going to another farm that has a barn item advertised. Now, before I show you examples, my rationale behind this is uh, if I'm putting up some items for sale, let's just say I'm going to sell some of this syrup here, I have my advertisement up, I'm going to put in syrup. Now, I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be clearing out my barn. I mean, I don't want some of this stuff. There's too much stuff in, in my barn. I mean, I don't have enough room. Uh, you know, I don't need some of these, whatever, you know, I'll keep those. But, you know what I mean? So, like, everything now in my barn, except for the coffee, of course, is a barn items. And I do the same for silo items. I mean, if I'm going to sell some, I'm probably going to be clearing out my silo. And that's the logic behind it, but um, I've also just really seen trends. I mean, let's go through. Let's get this guy's sweater. All barn items, except for the pumpkins. Um, chili popcorn, probably. Yep, all barn items. No silo items is something to note as well. Let's go to the carrot. Carrot, almost all silo items. Now this is probably something that you've realized yourself, um, but I can almost certainly confirm that it's definitely a thing. Uh, I really haven't done any kind of advanced analysis on it, but I'm sure that if I did there would be definite correlations. Um, so yeah, I mean, the next tip is something that saves a little bit of time. Uh, what I used to do is, you know, the, what everyone does is just like the click on it and you harvest your, your crops. Right, I don't know. It takes a little while. I've changed to well. I should I should note this is only really good for people using the iPad, just like I am. Uh, I'm using an iPad Mini. Uh, it's a little bit smaller of a screen, but if you're using an iPhone, this probably won't be as as handy to you. But I found that you can use multiple fingers to automatically uh, take the crops without having to get this little dialog box up. So for an example here, I'm just going to use three fingers. I'm pretty sure three is the max because if you start using four, it starts like, like swiping between the, uh, the apps, as you can see. Um, now I'll just show you with three fingers. I'm just going to swipe onto the strawberries here, and just like, just like swipe around, and let's see how fast I can. Well, that's not, don't time me though because I don't know how fast it's going to be. But let's just see how fast I can do it, right? See, just like three fingers is going everywhere, all over it. Didn't have to get, like go in and uh, like select the option of the sheath cutter thing. Uh, it's pretty fast. I mean, you save like probably a second because you can use three fingers at once. But uh, whatever, it's it, it adds up, especially since you're doing your cops quite often. Uh, now that leads into my next tip, which I'm sure everybody knows. This is more of a beginner tip. Um, and it has to do with finding expansion items. You may have noticed there that I got a stake from harvesting my strawberries there. Well, it turns out that there's no higher chance of getting expansion items from higher level uh, crops like strawberries or potatoes. Actually, you can get them from, it's like the same chance for every crop. So if I plant a bunch of wheat and then I harvest that wheat, I will have the same chance of getting uh, expansion items than I would if I were to plant some strawberries. Now the big big takeaway here is that wheat takes like two minutes, strawberries take like eight hours. Uh, so you obviously, if you're looking for expansion items, you're better off 
going ahead and planting a bunch of wheat. So this is actually what a lot of people do. If you go into the newspaper, you'll likely see some people who are selling wheat for 10, oh, I don't have any here, but 10 gold for 10 wheat. That's because they're doing this. They're basically farming the wheat. Uh, if you're used to playing any other games, you would probably know the term as grinding. But this is basically what it is. This is the grind in Heyday. If you want to get some expansion items for the land, which I think are a pain in the butt. I think land deeds are one of the most rarest items in the game. Uh, but you should probably just farm the wheat. Just keep going, keep on going. Because I think what I've noticed is it's about one in every 30 crops that you harvest. You'll get an expansion item, which is alright. It's a pretty good rate. Uh, but, you know, I'm running out of time here, so I may as well just go on to the next tip. Uh, and that is about making money. Now, I did a little bit like of analysis. It's really not that great. I only really took into account the time it takes and how much it sells for. But basically, I found that chocolate popcorn are one of the most efficient items. Uh, they only take two hours and 15 minutes, I think, or two and a half hours without the uh, three stars. It only takes two corn and two cokers. And you get something that sells for really quite a lot of money. I mean, you can see here 10 for 2484. Uh, that's quite a lot of money. Uh, and then after that is, uh, you can see, I'll put some up just to show you guys. Here, the espressos. So we've got 9 for 2,235. The reason why that's so good is because what does it take? It takes one sugar and one, co uh, three coffees. But the big takeaway here is it takes five minutes. I only have two slots in the coffee kiosk, but if I had more than two, I could make so much money just by farming some coffee over here, just farming a little bit of coffee and just smashing out those espressos. You can make a lot of money from that. That's probably the best way to do it. So let's see if I get an um, expansion item here, just from my wheat. No expansion item. Probably like the next one I'll get an expansion item though. Uh, so that's something I need to tell you guys though. If you are a low level, if you're like just under level 20, I believe the land expansion comes at level 22 or something like that. You need to know that expansion items such as the uh, the land deeds, these, these ones here, the marker stakes, uh, I don't think I have any other stuff. But the marker stakes, the mallets, and the land deeds are some of the most valuable and rare items in the game. So if you want to expand your land, which you will want to, you better hoard those things because I actually regretted not. I When I was lower level, I used to sell those as soon as I could because they were worth so much money. But it's really not a great idea to do that. I mean, even if you don't have very much storage, you should just try and keep as many as you really can without having to sell them because you'll eventually get to like level 30 and you still haven't had uh, expanded your entire land and you'd be really annoyed because you want more land. Um, so that's just you know a bit of a warning. You can hit it or you cannot. It doesn't really matter. I don't mind, but that's just a tip. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, you know, Some of these will be useful to you guys. Some of them probably won't. Uh, I did spend a bit of time doing the analysis on the apples and the coffees and stuff like that. So hopefully that's something you guys didn't know about. Uh, I will give, give you a bit of a bonus tip here. Now, I'm not quite sure if this has worked very much. Um, but what I did is I connected to a Facebook account, right? I have like a ton of friends on here because of that. But the Facebook account I connected it wasn't my Facebook account. It was one I created specifically for Heyday. And obviously, I think a lot of people are going to do that. I think, very, uh, actually, I know for a fact that a lot of people do do that. But what I did is something that I had never seen before. And that is, let's see if I can show you guys. That is basically, I made my profile picture a little bit unique. I went ahead and you remember my trip tip before about uh, scanning the newspaper really, really quickly, seeing if you can get any semblance of uh, the items? Well, I took that 
And I assumed that other people did that as well. But now I can't find anyone who needs help. I, th I assumed other people did that as well. So I went ahead and did a bit of trickery. And oh, I just need to find someone who needs help first because I think that's the only way I can show you my uh, display picture, I think. I'll probably edit this out. Here we go, okay, so I help them. You can see in my display picture, what is it? That's a land deed. That's because I remember when I needed land deeds, I, I wanted them so much and I never ever found them. I almost never found them. Every time I was farming wheat, there was always just like screws and, and planks and stuff like that. But if you see a land deed, if you're looking up in the paper, you see that the their display picture is just about as big as the picture of the item. So if you're just scanning the items and you see a land deed pop up, you know, if it loads, which it probably won't, but if it loads, you see a land deed pop up there, you're like, oh crap, and you might even just like click it out of reflex, and you might just not even know what you did. But then what will happen? I mean, they'll be in my shop, even if there are no land deeds. You know, they might even see one of these slots as being like that sold icon, you know, sold, this has been sold, sorry. But, I mean, they're, they're in your shop. They're not going to just like leave straight away. They're going to at least browse your shop really quickly. And they may even help you if you need help. Well, you know, that's basically a tip. It's not guaranteed to work. In fact, it might not even work at all. It might not even be significant. But I'm not going to be putting my display picture as anything else. I'm not going to be putting it as my face. So I'm just going to put it as a land deed or maybe a bolt. Because bolts are pretty, uh, they're pretty rare as well. So maybe go for that second. Alright guys, so thanks a lot. Hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe if you like. I mean, I'm probably not going to be putting any more of these out unless you guys, unless there are enough of you guys sub subscribing. But yeah, thank you. Bye.